Welcome to Amit's Math School. The topics of the video is circumcenter, orthocenter, and centroid. And we are going to learn how to draw this three point of any triangle that is circumcenter, orthocenter, and centroid of any triangle. And we draw this three point for different type of triangle. And finally, we see the properties regarding these three points. Now let's start with circumcenter. That is how to draw the circumcenter. To draw a circumcenter of any triangle, we need to know what is circumcenter and circumcircle of any triangle, how to draw the midpoint of any side of triangle, finally, how to draw perpendicular at any point. If we know these three, we can draw the circumcenter of any triangle. At first, what is circumcenter of any triangle? The intersecting point of the perpendicular drawn on the middle point of three side of triangle is known as circumcenter. Now let's see how to draw midpoint of any side of any triangle. This one is a triangle. We want to draw the midpoint of this side. Taking this point as the center and the radius greater than the half of this side, draw one arc. Opposite side of this line, draw another arc. Then Taking this point at the center with the same radius, draw another arc and another one. Finally, join these two points, that is these two points of intersection. This line intersects this side with one point. This point is our midpoint of this side. In this way, we can draw the midpoint of any side. Now, how to draw perpendicular at any point? This one is a triangle. And we want to draw a perpendicular at this point. For this, taking this point at the center and with any radius, draw one arc. Then, taking this point at the center, draw another arc with the same radius. Again, taking this point at the center, draw another arc with same radius and another one with same radius. Now, taking this point at the center, taking the final arc and Join this intersecting point and this point. This line is perpendicular on this side of triangle. Now, we know what is circumcenter and how to draw the midpoint and how to draw a perpendicular at any point of any side. Now, we can easily draw the circumcenter of any triangle. Now, let's go to how to draw the circumcenter of any triangle. We know the intersecting point of perpendicular drawn on the middle point of three sides of any triangle is known as circumcenter. So this one is our triangle ABC. We know how to draw the midpoint. First draw the midpoint of AC, then AB and then BC. And draw the perpendicular at this midpoint. First one, second one and third one. Here we just draw the perpendicular but we know how to draw this perpendicular. So this point the point of intersection of perpendicular drawn on the middle point of three sides. These three sides intersect this point. This point is our circumcenter of this triangle ABC. Next, how to draw the orthocenter of any triangle? To draw orthocenter of any triangle, we need to know. What is orthocenter of any triangle and how to draw the perpendicular from any point for the circumcenter at any point and this from any point. So, what is orthocenter of any triangle? The intersecting points of the perpendiculars drawn on the opposite side from the vertices of any triangle is known as the orthocenter of that triangle. At first, let's see how to draw perpendicular from any point. This one is triangle. And we are going to draw the perpendicular from this point. First, taking this point as the center and the radius greater than this distance, draw one arc. And this arc intersects this line two point. And we are going to draw a perpendicular on this line from this point. And taking this first intersection point as a center with any radius, draw one arc. And then Taking this another intersecting point at the center with the same radius, draw another arc of the same side. In this case, we will get one intersecting point 
and this intersecting point and the, this point, if we join these two points, we will get the perpendicular line on this line. Now, let's see how to draw orthocenter of any triangle. And we know the orthocenter is the intersecting point of perpendiculars drawn on the opposite side from the vertices of triangle. So, this is our triangle ABC. So, from A to BC, if we draw one perpendicular, and we know how to draw the perpendicular from any point, and from C to AB, and from B to AC. These three perpendicular intersect at this point. And this point is our orthocenter for this triangle ABC. Now, let's see how to draw centroid of any triangle. To draw a centroid of any triangle, we need to know what is centroid of any triangle and how to draw the midpoint of side of any triangle. Starting with what is centroid of any triangle? The intersecting point of the line joining the vertex to the middle point of opposite side, that is the median of any triangles, is known as the centroid. And we know how to draw the midpoint of any side. So let's see how to draw the centroid of any triangle. The intersecting point of three medians of any triangle is centroid. So this one is our triangle A, B, C. And the midpoint of AC is this point. This one is midpoint of AB and this one is the midpoint of BC. Now from the vertex to the midpoint joining line. 1, 2 and 3. And this three line intersect at this yellow point. This point is our centroid for this triangle ABC. Now let's see the circumcenter, orthocenter, and centroid for various type of triangles. And finally, we see the properties of these points. First, the, for the equilateral triangle, this ABC is a equilateral triangle, and this DEF at the midpoint of three sides of this triangle. And this intersecting point, this point is centroid, circumcenter, and as well as the orthocenter. Because this AD is median, BE is also median, and C if F is also median. So this point is centroid. And this AD is perpendicular on BC, and BE is perpendicular on AC, and CF is perpendicular on AB. So this point is also orthocenter. And finally, this DEF is the midpoint and this AD is the perpendicular on the midpoint. So this point is also circumcenter of this triangle. For the equilateral triangle ABC, this intersecting point indicate the centroid, circumcenter and orthocenter. Now, let's see it for the isosceles triangle. For this triangle ABC, AB and BC are equal. The intersecting point of these three red line, which is the medians of this triangle, so this point indicate the centroid. This line is perpendicular on BC and this black line is perpendicular on AB and this black line is perpendicular on AC. So this point is in point of intersection for the perpendicular on the midpoint of three side of triangle. So this point is the circumcenter for this triangle ABC. And the intersecting point of these two green line and this red line is this point. We see this green line is perpendicular on AB from C and this green line is perpendicular on AC from B and this red line is perpendicular on BC from A. So this point indicate the orthocenter for this triangle ABC. So for the isosceles triangle, this three point is lie on this line. Finally, let's see it for right angle triangle. That is ABC is a right angle triangle. So this point B, the orthocenter, because this AB is perpendicular on BC and this BC is perpendicular on AB and this red line is perpendicular on AC. The perpendicular from the opposite vertex to the side of triangle, this intersecting point is the orthocenter for this triangle. So for the right angle triangle, this point is the orthocenter. Again, this point is centroid because this green line indicates the medians for this triangle ABC. So this is the centroid. That is the intersecting point of three medians. And finally, this point is the circumcenter because this 
black line indicate the perpendicular on AB and this black line indicate the perpendicular on BC and the perpendicular on the hypotenuse AC is starting from this point. So, this point will be the point of intersection of three perpendicular on the middle point of three sides. That's why this, so this point indicate the circumcenter for the right angle triangle ABC.